Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, and as you can tell from the rearrangements, uh, yeah, I did get my new computer all figured out, and it uh, looks like we are good to go. But anyway, guys, as you can tell from the title down below, we are going to be re reacting to the uh, latest video that Ryan Up Church just uploaded called uh, Fart to Fart, or <laughs> to... <laughs> it is what it is. So anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and hear what our man Ryan has to say. So without further ado, I'd like to hear, here go, fuggin'. We need to have a talk. All right, so here's the thing, man. I've been on YouTube since 2014. Consistently making videos since 2014. Consistently making music since 2014. Consistently touring since 2014. Right. Staying updated with everyone who watches my stuff since 2014. Facts. Actually, uh, Ryan did um, actually subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, Ryan, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, brother. Appreciate that. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get back into this thing. It's 2020. I've been consistently doing this for six years. I've loved every second of it, every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every video, every mile on the road, every show, every time I yelled, every time I've blown my vocals out, every time I've jumped in the fucking crowd and headbutted somebody. I've loved every freaking second of it. And you know that's facts because he still continues to do that to this very day. You know what I mean? Whether it's music, whether it's YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But, um, of course, you see in his vlog videos, too, that he likes to, you know, enjoy his life. You know what I mean? And enjoy all the things that he's worked so hard to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? And before we get too far in this video, I don't want you to think that this video is clickbait. I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, threatening to stop doing YouTube. Okay. I'm just telling you how I feel at this time and telling you the things that are going on that I don't like. This video is not directed at anyone personally. It's not directed at my fans. It's not directed at, you know, anybody who understands this video and knew this was coming. This is not about you. Now, I have seen some people who've been following me for a long time that have been saying some shit that is bothering me and irritating the shit out of me. Some new people that I don't know, some people that probably just fucking hate me. Who fucking knows? But anyways, here's what I'm getting at, okay? I've been doing this a long time, and I've never, in six years, never have made a video like this. Because I never felt like I had to. Uh, I still don't feel like I have to now, but I still want to just go ahead and say it, rather than just, you know, covering this shit up all the time, and then becoming one of those depressed YouTubers that just stops making videos one day, and no one ever hears from them again. I can't do that to the people that watch me because I've gained some sort of like, over the years I've gained some sort of like, how do you say this, like emotional connection with the people who watch my videos. And the reason why is because, you know, I can go back to 2015 and post a video tomorrow and over the years I've gotten to where I can see certain names or profile pictures in the comments and I'm like, you know, I think to myself like, dude, that motherfucker, I've been knowing him since, you know, 2015, 2016, been typing back and forth, commenting back and forth with this person since 2014, 2015 and that to me means something. And I can actually vouch for um, Ryan interacting with fans, like I said, other than um, reacting or not reacting but subscribing to my YouTube channel, um, but on Instagram. Uh, Ryan actually liked one of my songs one of my uh, videos that I made for the song called mad mad world that I'll leave a card up for if you guys want to check that out Ryan actually commented on that song on my Instagram you know what I mean he put lol and threw up the uh, horns at me and everything and I was like yo that's what's up so you know <clears throat> I'm assuming that he liked it because I think along with the horns he put up the heart emoji too I'm gonna have to go back and check that because it's been a while since I last seen that um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the guy does, when he has time, he definitely takes time, you know, to interact with fans and everything, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I can vouch for that because again, YouTube subscription, um, uh, music video rea uh, reaction, a comment, you know, on my Instagram. So, 
know what I mean? Ryan, I got your back, brother. Don't worry about it, man. This is one fan that will tell it like it is. Because these people that stick around for all these years to watch these videos until one day when I'm fucking dead, that means more to me than anything because it just goes to show that, you know, you can make a difference in people's life. And you can make people feel better about their self through music, through videos. You can give people the courage to go do things that they never may have wanted to do before, maybe because their anxiety is too high. And to, uh, to his point about, you know, encouraging people to go do things, you know what I mean? Like I said in my, for my, my, my Kid Rock remix, again, that was a remix I've been wanting to do for the longest time since I got into uh, doing rap music. And uh, up until... The time when I actually did it, I didn't really have the balls because I didn't feel confident enough in my abilities before. And it wasn't until I saw his uh, Cowboy remix that um, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. If Ryan can do it, I can do it. And that's what gave me the courage to finally say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. And I got it done. You guys want to see that Kid Rock remix again? Just like um, I said for Mad Mad World, I'll leave a card up above. You guys want to check that out. Or if you want to wait till the end of the screen, um, I'll have the uh, playlist for all my songs um, on the end screen. I guess you can't do individual videos anymore, or there's more involved in doing that now. I don't know. YouTube's just getting weirder and weirder and weirder as the years uh, go by. You know what I mean? But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and, um, well, to, re to reiterate, again, um, if it weren't for Ryan doing his Kid Rock uh, Cowboy remix, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have done mine. You know what I mean? I would just... I would just go with the status quo, you know what I mean, and just keep making my own stuff, which it is my own. I mean, it's it's a remix, you know what I mean? It's just some elements um, I borrowed from the original version of Cowboy, uh, much like Ryan did, you know, to pay homage to Kid Rock, you know what I mean? It's the same thing I did with my um, with my uh, Ambitions, uh, Ambitions as a Rider remix, you know, my Tupac tribute, Ambitions as a Rider remix, same thing. I borrowed some elements from Pac's original song to pay homage while making sure that the majority of that song had all original bars. You know what I mean? There's still some elements of Pac's original song, even though some words did get switched around, so it sounds more original, but a majority of the verses, though, had mostly all original bars and everything in it. You know what I mean? Because, again, it's about paying homage and also doing something that's, that's yours. You know what I mean? Making it your own. You know what I mean? And, like I said, if it weren't for Ryan, I, I wouldn't have been uh, inspired to do those remixes. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Too high or maybe because they're nervous or they're scared of what someone's going to better about their self through music, through videos. You can give people the courage to go do things that they never may have wanted to do before. Maybe because their anxiety is too high or maybe because they're nervous or they're scared of what someone's going to think about them. And, you know, me going through this journey the whole time, I've been through the ringer, bro. You know? Like, like everything that's happened to me or... Um, any event that's taking place in my life, like all you guys have always known about it. And that's true, and you can't prove him wrong because you can see evidence of it on his channels. I mean, look at the, the his his lacquer thinner Larry videos. You know what I mean? Where he was going in on on that one crazy fan. You know what I mean? And it's not just a, a crazy fan like lacquer thinner Larry. There's also you know wannabe reactors. You know what I mean? Who you could tell really like Ryan's music. They're just trying to go against the grain, you know what I mean, and try to do what is unpopular, and as it's just, you know, trashing on the man, and they don't even know him, you know what I mean? They, they don't even know anything about his music, you know what I mean? But, again, you know, actions speak louder than words, and yes, I am talking about a certain reactor, you know what I mean, who you saw bobbing his head or really getting into the music, he's grooving to it, but was trying to be negative. You know what I'm saying? You, you can see all that in on Ryan's channels. Or at least his, his vlog channel. Whoops. Let me uh, wind that back a bit. Right. Maybe because they're nervous or they're scared of what someone's going to think about them. And, you know, me going through this journey the whole time, I've been through the ringer, bro. You know? Like, like everything that's happened to me or um, any event that's taken place in my life, like, all you guys have always known about it. And I've liked it that way because... You know, when you go trying to cover up stuff that happens in your life, for one, it doesn't help the, the person watching. Because chances are, if I'm going through a breakup or if I or anything like that, 
uh, life-wise happens to me, chances are it's happened to one of you out there. And it gives me the chance. True, whether it's um, breakups or, you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be, anything anything and everything that this guy puts out there that, that, that that's personal, you know what I mean, odds are some of us have been through it. Like, I've been through breakups. I've been through, you know, fallout with friends. I've been through you know, fall out with, with family, you know what I mean? And sometimes, um, I reconnect with those old friends and we, you know, we forgive and forget, you know what I mean? And, uh, same thing with family. Sometimes we forgive and we forget, and you, know, you know what I mean? And our relationship has, has, have, will sometimes grow stronger or sometimes, you know, you have those people who are just set in their ways and you don't get that chance to rekindle with them, you know what I'm saying? And it's very unfortunate, but, I'm just giving out some some examples, you know what I mean, um, and that's why you know I put it out there because he's right, you know what I mean. A lot of times when when you go through a certain aspect of life, you know these these experiences in life, you know you're not the only one who's gone through that. There's other people that's gone through it too, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get back into it. To get on here and be like, this is what happened. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Baby, you okay? Uh oh. There's an angry little lady upstairs. Uh oh. Right. Alright, we're good. She just got mad because her nanny and papa went bowling without her fucking. Oh, <laughs> Alright. So, anyway, what I was saying was I love this job for the social qualities it has. You know, uh, the things I've seen happen, the people I've met over time, whether it's playing video games with them or at a show or after a show when they're drunk and crying. I mean, I've, I've had that. You know, I, I've sat with plenty of people after the shows that are just boozed the fuck out. I've pulled a, a fucking stool up and sit with them and been like, hey, what's wrong, fucking? Talk to me about it, fucking. I'll never forget one night in Alabama. I sat with this uh, ex-military guy forever, man, and... You know, I'm not going to spill his business, but I've had plenty of freaking nights like that. I've had guys in the military, you know, back in the day, sneak in my van I was touring in. Just because they wanted to sleep somewhere because they were fucking hammered. And then I come to the door and I open it. I'm like, yo, who the fuck are you? And he's like, bro, my bad, fucking, I just, I was fucked up and I snuck in your van. And I'm like, all right, fucking. <laughs> you know, I've, I have a lot of good times. And... I connected with a lot of people through the comment section and stuff like that, but lately, I feel like that has been being ruined, and here's why. And listen, before we get into this, and there's people out there that, you know, may look at this video and be like, well, up church, you're an asshole, or up church, you've changed, or up church, you fucking have made all this money off of YouTube and us watching your stuff, and X, Y, and Z. Yada, yada, yada. I want to show y'all something that no one has ever gotten to see. That only I can see. To show you guys the, real, the realistic side of me and YouTube and you guys as a community. Okay? Now, when I show you this, you're going to be like, what the fuck? And maybe there are some people out there that need to look at this and say... What the fuck? So listen, I'm going to show y'all how much money I've made on my YouTube the entire time I've had YouTube versus how many views and everything. And I'm going to show you how much money I've made in my whole entire career on YouTube. And you're going to shit your pants when you see this. Because I can almost 100% know that no one's going to expect this when they see it. They're not going to expect you're not going to expect this. This is how much I care about making YouTube videos for the people that have been engaging with me since 2014. Let's look at look at this. All right, so look, right here, you can click this tab and you can look at your analytics for the last 7 days, 28 days, 9 days, 365. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm clicking lifetime. You see this? From July 6, 2014 to March 13th, 2020, which is today, I have made 
$740 as an estimated revenue. What? That's insane. 49,000 playbacks. About five bucks on playbacks with a billion views with my watch time being so 700 plus dollars lifetime with and over a billion views watch time 47.4 million bruh that's some shiesty shit fuck in 47.4 million hours. Estimated revenue, $740. That's crazy. From this date to this date. And, and see, and I, I'm glad he's showing this because, um, and this is why I said in my thank you, Ryan, slash um, Adam Calhoun, uh, people suck reaction. Uh... That even if I do make it on YouTube, even if I get, you know, upwards to like a hundred plus thousand subs or even a million subs and I get the watch hours, I get the views and all this and that and I make some money off of YouTube, I'm still keeping a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and this is this is really driving home that point, too, that it's going to be very important for me to keep that nine to five. You know what I mean? And just, yeah, just use this as a secondary source of income. You know what I mean? To help take care of my bills and whatever else. Because, man, that, that, that's just, that's just insane. You know what I mean? And then, um, and also I got my music too. That's up for sale. Um, again, on my, uh, CD Baby store, you guys can download my music for like a dollar. I think some songs are like a dollar 29. Some are like 99 cents, just like iTunes. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, yeah, until I'm financially able to, like, you know, just straight up work from home and survive off my music and stuff, I'm keeping a nine to five, I'm keeping a regular job, so that way I always have a source of income, you know what I mean? That, man, that's just insane. $740. But, of course, you know, a lot of that has to do with, um, the kind of content that he makes, you know, Ryan's the kind of guy that doesn't hold back and nor should he, you know what I mean? You, you want transparency, you know what I mean? Because people love and respect transparency and, uh, apparently YouTube doesn't understand that. And what's, what's also very frustrating is that, you know, YouTube is now complying with these COPPA laws, you know what I mean? Where we now have to have to determine whether or not our videos made for kids. And that almost seems pointless because no matter what you do with that, whether you determine whether or not your video and your content is made for kids you know what I mean it's still gonna hurt your revenue if you curse if you say certain things it's gonna hurt your revenue because oh you you, you said a certain word you know what I mean and so therefore your video is not gonna be shown in certain areas or your video is gonna be pulled down or your video is gonna be unlisted which is not right you know what I mean man YouTube just does not care for a billion views That's how much I made. I've made 740 bucks. And my channel has gotten 1 billion 26 million 790 thousand four hundred and sixty seven views so far. And that's the thing, man. Like, like, YouTube is not making me money. I do it because I love it. I love being a content creator. You know, not someone that does the same thing all the time. I like ragging on motherfuckers that talk shit to me and make videos about me. I like playing video games. I like making street bike vlogs, Harley vlogs, hiking vlogs. You know, it's funny that he's saying this because um, I've actually, <laughs> um, I used to follow and watch some YouTube uh, gurus, you know, experts that, are, that tell you what you should do with your channel as like having your channel be based on one thing or whatever. My thing is, but then you look at their 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 subs and their view counts, and it's like if they really truly know, you know, all the ins and outs of YouTube, how come they don't have over a million subs? You know what I mean? 
I mean, they, they still have a good, decent amount of subs, but still, you know, what what you're telling telling other people to do with your channel may work for you, but it may not work for them. You know what I mean? And uh, one of my cousins, uh, she's a YouTuber, and um, she was having trouble figuring out what she wants to do with her channel. And my advice to her was, just do what you love. Just do what you're passionate about. You know what I mean? Um, if there are certain games that you like that you don't think you may have an audience for, just do it anyway because that's you. You know what I mean? All the stuff I do on my channel, whether it's gameplays, whether it's uh, music reaction, music video reactions, or music reactions in general, or my own music, th those are all things that I love and that I'm passionate about. And that's why I'm, I put stuff like that on my channel because that's me. You know what I'm saying? So my thing, my, my advice, if you want to make it on YouTube, just be you, you know what I'm saying? And stay consistent. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Just be you and be consistent. That's all it is. Vlogs at my ranch involving my family, my friends, I like playing video games with people, so do I. like doing all kind of stuff, all kind of shit. Whatever content I feel like creating at the time, that's what I want to put out. It's unexpected. No one knows what I'm gonna put out. It's always some crazy different shit. We're always going back and doing some old shit that we did back in the day. Just if I'm feeling like it. It's just whatever my mind is feeling at the time is what I want to put on YouTube for people to watch. Yeah. You know? I don't like this whole blueprint Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday. That's, that works for some people. It doesn't work for my brain. My brain is spontaneous. I like to do things on a whim. I, I've literally gone this whole entire career winging it. You can ask anybody who's worked with me. You can ask anybody who works with me now. It could be one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. It could be fucking uh, 12 o'clock on a Sunday. It doesn't matter. Like anything I post out there, it just it's, it's what I feel like doing and what I feel like showing everybody, you know? And I feel like now it's more like you're being interrogated sometimes, like by the fucking FBI or something. You know what I mean? I mean, first off, all my shit gets demonetized. I ain't been monetized. See, that's what it is. That's why he's not making that much because a lot of his stuff gets demonetized. And again, it, it goes based on what it is that you're saying in your videos, you know, any kind of words, terms, phrases you use in your videos, you know what I'm saying? YouTube is not as as freedom based as it used to be when it first as it was first established, you know what I mean? It's it's completely different now. It's more restricted, you know what I mean? And all you can do is play by the rules in order and hope that you can get monetized, you know what I'm saying? Which is not right. It YouTube needs to be exactly what it was when it first started and just let people be themselves But of course they won't do that. They won't do that. Why because it makes too much sense You know what I'm saying it makes too much sense and anything that would make them more money Will not work for them You know what I mean and they're money hungry, you know, what I mean so it's like okay You want to make so much money? But yet you're demonetizing people and all these people that you're de you're demonetizing that's a portion of your money that you're stripping from yourself. Think about that, YouTube, Google, whoever the fuck is in charge. Think about that. All these people that you're demonetizing, that's a, a percentage of money that you're not getting, that you're, that you're, you know, depriving yourself of. Think about that. As ever, really. I mean, I am on a few videos here and there, but dude, I've made thousands and thousands of videos. 99% of them are demonetized. I don't, I don't make money off that time. I make and tell people about something that's coming out, that's fine. But when it comes to making the videos, it's genuinely because I like making them for the people that want to watch something if they're at home. And the way I am with my YouTube, you know me, if something's going on, I'm putting it out there. I'm telling you guys about it. So when I'm riding four-wheelers and post a four-wheeler video or a four-wheeler vlog 
and people say, why are you doing this? Can you go do this instead? Or if I'm playing video games, people are like, what the fuck has happened to you? Why have you turned into someone who plays video games? When literally yesterday, I was riding my street bike through the mountains. Or, or if I'm riding my street bike through the mountains, somebody's like, yo, why aren't you in the studio making music for us? Like, bro, I, I do all of this at the same time. I have been for six years. What's the deal? Do I have to be everywhere someone tells me to be when they tell me to be there? Every time I post a video of X, are people going to bitch because I'm not doing Y and Z? You know what I'm saying? This goes back to the whole content creator thing. Like, if it wasn't up to me what was coming on the screen for people to watch, then what, where would the excitement land? It wouldn't land anywhere. You would know what's going to happen. That's boring, fucking. But that's not the only thing, man. It's not and my, my advice for this would be to, you know, don't let anyone tell you what to do with your channel. If people truly like you and they like the stuff you're putting out on your channel, they will subscribe to you. They will subscribe to you and they will hit either the thumbs up, thumbs down. They will interact with your videos. They would leave comments in, their, in your comment section if they truly gave a damn. You know what I mean? They would interact with you. You know what I mean? They would go to your description box, look for all your social media so they can follow you. If they truly, truly give a damn. I'm just saying. So that's why I, I say do you. Just do you and put out what you like. What you're passionate about. Don't do what you think people would, uh, what you think people would want to watch. Because at that, because with that, you're, you're trying to please everybody. Except pleasing the one body. You. You know what I'm saying? Just do you. Just do you. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Work hard. Be consistent. You know what I mean? Have passion. Let, let the people feel your passion. You know what I mean? It's not the only thing. It's people leaking my address, posting it a bunch of times. This is something I never quite understood either. People leaking addresses and shit. What are you hoping to accomplish with that? I mean, do you not realize what you're doing to these people who are doing something with their lives? You're putting their address out there. You know what I mean? Some crazy person could be seeing that and be like, okay, now I know where they live. I can go and do something to these people. Which, good luck trying to get to him. Good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway... Uh, the whole thing with leaking addresses, if you're one of those type of people, you better be careful because I believe in karma. You know, karma is a real thing. What goes, I believe what goes around comes around. You leak someone else's address, don't be surprised if someone else leaks your address. Because again, what goes around comes around. You think, you think you're, you're, you're freaking slick because you're able to find someone's address and post it. Don't think that there's not another person out there like you. That could do the same thing to you. And definitely don't bitch about it and don't cry when it happens to you. Because you did it first. I'm just saying. Just watch what you do on the internet. You know what I mean? Don't don't be an asshole. Don't be a psychopath. You know what I mean? Times in the chat. Who are you dating? What's their name? Where'd you meet them? Like and none of that shit is any of your guys' business. It's none of my business either. I saw people, and I, I know where he's going with, with this. There was a post on Instagram he put up where uh, he it was him with, with some girl. And I saw people on that comment thread ask, oh, who's that? Is that a new girlfriend? You know what I mean? Who's that? Is that, is that your, is that your uh, sister? Whatever the hell. It's like, who cares? Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. It's none of my business. I, I think I 
did, did I comment on there? I don't think I commented on there, but I know for sure I did heart it. I mean, I did react to it. I, I clicked the heart because I liked it. And then I just left it with that. If I commented it, it's not going to be anywhere along the lines of like, who is that? It's going to be like, you know, it's, it's, hey, it's a beautiful young woman or hey, that's a pretty girl. That's it. And then, and then I'm out of there. I move on. That's who I am. Like, I, if I want to tell you that and I feel comfortable with that, I'll eventually tell you. But I don't like to be interrogated to where the point, it, it just, it makes you not want to get home. You know what I'm saying? It makes you not want to create videos. It kills the creative part of it because you feel like, fuck dude, like as soon as I make this video, I'm going to be interrogated. They're going to ask me, who is this? Why are they there? How long have I known them? Where are they from? What's their name? Can they look them up on Facebook? And the next thing you know, it's screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. And it's like, and I get it. And I love it when my fans come on here and they're like, hey, church, don't worry about everybody else. You do you. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Fist bump, fucking. Because that's the people who understand. <laughs> and those are the people, the people that understand that, that, that act like that and post that kind of stuff in the comments when they're like, yo, don't worry about everybody else. Yo, that's the vibe. I like that. I don't like when I'm interrogated, bro. I don't. I don't like when people are. Or I, 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 I already tell my personal. And again, going back to uh, Instagram, uh, when he posts videos of like him in the studio, you know, working on some music, playing some new music, you know, for us to sample. Every comment that I put on those types of video clips, pretty sure he can vouch for this too. I mean. If it's really him that's posting these videos, I'm pretty sure he can vouch for this too, uh, because um, he knows my Instagram. I don't know if he follows me on Instagram, but I know he knows my Instagram because, like I said earlier, he uh, he he commented on one of my songs, "Mad Mad World." But uh, anytime he posts up a video clip or whether he's um, talking about people creating fake accounts on on Instagram, and it does happen, I've seen some, um, or just. Uh, playing a little sample, a little clip of some new music that he's working on that he, that has yet to be released. I always put on there, hey, go get him, church. You know what I mean? Go get it. You know what I mean? Chase the dream. You know what I'm saying? Do, do your thing. Go for it. Go get it. Keep up the awesome work. And then I'm out of there. I'm moving on. That's all I do. I'll listen for. I'll listen to, to the whole clip. I'll leave my, my comment on there. Like, like, do your thing, man. Go get it. And then I fuck off. That's what I do. In life anyways. If I want to hold off on telling somebody something, I want to be able to hold off on telling somebody something. I don't feel like being interrogated, bro. I don't feel like people post my address online over and over and over and over. And when I say, yo, why the hell are you sharing my address, you dingleberry? They're like, oh, I'm just kidding. But you're not just kidding because you just posted my address. And you're only kidding because you got caught, man. Let's, let's, let's be real. You know what I mean? You, if you didn't get caught... You know deep down in, in your fucking heart of hearts, you are not fucking around. You're only kidding because you got caught. I don't care if you're 14 or 40. You don't post somebody's address, bro. That, That's that. common sense and common decency, like I said the other night. And... Because here, here's the thing about posting addresses, too. It may not even be the right address, but it may be a real address. You know what I mean? It could be the wrong address that is a real address. You know what I mean? That could belong to some complete stranger. And then that person, you know, little do they realize, they, you know, they they don't know that their address is being thrown out there. And some random person can show up to their house and cause harm. Or God knows what. Think, people. Think. I'm not dealing with it. I refuse. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to become a slave to a bunch of people who act like they care about me when really they don't. When I got all these people over here who really do care about me and want to see my videos. If these people over here are starting to hound me and ruin the fun for me, then it makes it where I can't make a video. And then these people that really do care about me that watch my stuff are getting cheated out. In the video because they know when I'm depressed they know when I'm not feeling it and 
F these people who think they gotta know everything, bro. F these people who wanna be in my business and F these people. Those are the, the people with this over sense of entitlement. You know what I mean? Fuck those people. I agree with him with that 100%. All of you who feel entitled that you need to know everything about this man's life. All of you out there who who I may, who may be the same people that want to know everything about my life. Fuck you. You don't need to know. Mind your own damn business. Stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? People these days, man. No, no freaking common sense. No logic. No common decency. Sickening. People who want to share my address and share all the time, I'm doing it for these people. So I am going to keep going. I'm not going to stop making videos. But I probably am going to be a little bit, I'm going to crank my little being an asshole knob up a little bit. It might cost people to leave. It doesn't matter. I, 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 don't, I don't make money off YouTube anyways. I make stuff. And, and it's all good, dude, because think about it this way. Those who leave are those very same people who feel like they need to know everything about you. You know what I mean? Those are the same assholes that are going to put out your address and shit. So if they leave, fuck them. You know what I mean? You'll know who the real ones are because the real ones will be the ones who stay no matter what. Those are the real ones. And that's facts. Stuff for people who want to watch my shit. And for the people that know this and have been seeing this going on and do get frustrated when it happens to me, and I, and, it, and I end up having to make a video like this, I'm making the video for those people. These people are my skins and my holler boys and my holler gals. They don't care if I cuss you out. The only people care that the only people that care that I'm cussing at them are ones that are in that same group are interrogating my life yeah. and posting my address. We don't care about these people. These people are fucking assholes. Yep. They can unsubscribe. Because over here, these people actually give a fuck. Yep. And these people are why I'm making the videos. Yep. Not because these people. So over the next few months, if you get banned over and over, it's because I, I, I don't want you in my personal life. It's because you've posted my address or some shit like that. It's because you're demanding I do something else and you're telling me what I'm doing over here it fucking sucks. Go back to doing this. You gotta go. Click, block. You gotta go. Yeah. Because I'm not ending up some depressed YouTuber who gets so fed up with it that I just disappear. These people over here, the ones who understand, they don't deserve that. And, and, and another thing to consider too, instead of asking this man to make certain type of videos, why don't you go make those type of videos? You know what I mean? Instead of waiting for him to make the kind of videos you want to see on YouTube, since you have a YouTube account, hello, you go make those kind of videos you want to see. These people over here who, who don't understand, they can fuck off. Exactly. I've always been this way. Yep. If there's anyone in the comments saying, oh, well, you've changed, man. No, you haven't been here that long. You're fucking lying. Everyone knows how much of a dickhead I could be fucking. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I'm known for, fucking. Yep. So, for all my real folks out there that's watching this, what up, fucking? What up, bro? Listen. <laughs> I know you guys have probably been wondering, like, yo, why ain't he posting that many videos? Why ain't, uh, you know, church this, that, and the other? And a lot of people, what up, Skinette? A lot of people, <laughs> um, a lot of people, like I said, have, they noticed. And I just wanted to get on here and tell everybody what was going on in my life and why I haven't been posting much lately. And just pretty much give you the rundown, like I always do. So, you know, I make these videos because I care, man. I care about the people who've been around here for a long time. I care about the people who are 16, 17 years old, riding around listening to my songs, making memories, and then five years down the road, they hear that same song from five years ago, and they're like, bro, remember that time, fucking? That's what I do YouTube for. I do it for that. I do it to show people you can stand up to bullies and talk shit to them too by using this. Yeah, this is fucking powerful, bro. If you can get in somebody else's head, you win, fucking. You don't have to yell and scream and be crazy and threaten motherfuckers. You know, it's funny because um, there was another YouTube video that I was watching. I don't want to say the name of the channel because YouTube might punish me. 
which I kind of feel like they already are because of something that I said in a past video about Donald Trump and I'm probably gonna get this video shadow banned for even mentioning his name um, but anyway but you know what? I don't care you know what I mean because I know you you real ones you, you watch my videos you know what I'm saying and I thank you for that okay yeah so anyway um, what happened was I was watching a, a another video it was a news video and um, I basically said something about you know something along the lines like 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 we finally had like China needs to watch themselves because they're dealing with a president who actually knows just what the hell he's doing and uh, someone actually got on there and they asked you know well what the hell is he doing and everything and I made and I left a, a response saying that you know I would explain and basically call them out too and I, I said something along the lines of you know I would explain it to a bunch of trolls and uh, demon rats you know who who apparently can't afford to pay attention but that would be like playing chess with a pigeon. It's just no point. You know what I mean? Because no matter what I say, they're always going to, you know, act like their shit don't stink. You know what I mean? And that they won the argument regardless. You know? And then some idiot decided to respond to that by saying like, oh, you know, and, 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 the, and the pigeon would say checkmate. And, and um, <laughs> I left a little joke underneath that comment, responded back by saying, and that's when you woke, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I I love playing with people like that. You know what I mean? Trolls, I love playing with trolls, dude. I I, I do. It's it's the funnest shit ever, man. Anyway, let's get back into it. It's fucking powerful, bro. If you can get in somebody else's head, you win, fucking. You don't have to yell and scream and be crazy and threaten motherfuckers. No. You could be smart and get in their head. And drive them fucking up the wall. <laughs> I do it for the people that maybe are not as outgoing as me. I mean, dude, when I was in fucking 10th grade, I couldn't read a paper in front of a classroom. Now I'm getting on stage in front of 20,000 people. You know who taught me that? Me. And I'm trying to teach other people out there the same shit. Dude, we're only here for a little while, fucking. You can't let anxiety or social anxiety or any of that get in your way. You literally have to go for it. Because we're only here for a little while. And you got to be truthful with the people that watch your stuff. Because we're only here for a little while. And when you leave this motherfucking earth, especially in this generation we're in, everybody's going to be able to go back and see how you were. See you on your good days, see you on your bad days, see if you was a bullshitting ass liar, see if you was a fucking, somebody told the truth regardless. You know, people go back and look at that shit. Yeah. And just so happens in this day and age, on this screen, this determines who you were once upon a time. When you're in this position, and you are a YouTuber has a lot of, a lot of followers and stuff. So, you better leave one hell of a mark, fucking. Whether you're on YouTube or not. And if and sometimes the truth hurts and sometimes people don't want to hear it, but hey, don't matter. You, you gotta tell the truth. You gotta you gotta fucking that's what makes you a, a calloused person. That's what gets you ahead in life. It's trial and tribulation. And tell them motherfuckers how you feel when you feel like it. Yep, that's why I always say, you know, um, I wear my heart on my sleeve, you know what I mean? If I feel a certain way about you, I'll let it be known. You know what I'm saying? Um, there, there's, a, there's a saying that I have where <clears throat> it's this little quote that I have where I say, I'd rather people hate me for my honesty than love me for my dishonesty. You see what I mean? I'm thinking about getting that um, tattooed on me, probably like on my, my right arm to help get my right sleeve started. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that though. But yeah, think about it though. I'd rather have people hate me for my honesty then love me for my dishonesty. Because that's how you know who's real and who's fake. That's life. So I just wanted to stop in and tell you all that. And kind of give you all the rundown on what's been going on and what's been bothering me. And just letting you all know that I ain't fucking going nowhere. I don't care if the views drop down to 700 views a month. I don't make YouTube for those reasons. I've never made YouTube videos to get famous. I just want to make people laugh. 
And I know there's going to be somebody in the comments, famous. <laughs> famous? What are you talking about? Famous? Do you think he's fucking famous? Yeah, I've heard that a bunch. Um, if you find another word for it or if you create another word and it gets inducted into Webster Dictionary for whatever this is that we all created, please tell me the word. I'll use that word. Um, but until then, I'm going to use the one in the dictionary, fucking. <laughs> so, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. And uh, I guess we'll see what I put out next, fucking. Skins, I really care about y'all, man. And I just want to take time out of my day to make this video and tell y'all that. Because I, I do know a lot of people do start getting really, really big. And they do start forgetting. And, you know... It happens, but <laughs> you have to slow down and you have to see stuff for what it is and you have to evaluate what's going on in your life and you have to learn, man. Life is a big-ass fucking learning curve. It's okay if you fuck up. Just try not to fuck up again. Love you guys. Alright, y'all, so that was... Ryan up church with um, either fart to fart or to, however you want to look at it. Um, no, but either way, totally understand, totally love and respect uh, where he where he was coming from with, with this video. You know what I mean, guys? It is what it is, you know. But hey, that's what I love about this dude, man. That, that transparency. You know what I'm saying? He's not afraid to tell it like it is. Wear his heart on his sleeve. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's all we can do, guys. You, you want people to, to love you, respect you. You want the real ones to love you and respect you. Be yourself. Do you. You know what I'm saying? And stay in your lane. Don't worry about what the next man or woman is doing. You know what I mean? Worry about what it is that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit together. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what's going on in this man's personal life worry about what's going on in your personal life just as I am worrying about what's going on in my personal life you know what I'm saying so yeah guys totally uh, totally agree with, with where Ryan was coming from with this and uh, yeah totally love this video and uh, let me know how you guys feel in the comment section down below and feel free to hit me with either the thumbs up thumbs down however you feel if you're new here welcome thank you for your view very much appreciate that and uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you can be a part of the Jason JV family. Would love to have you. All that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying y'all take care, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace out.